Today we chat with entrepreneur Deanna Collins and find out about her product range, Skin by Nature. We head to Kai's Medi Spa in Parnell to find out about fat freezing. We find out why Kathy Organic's products are so popular. Filipino Kiwi movie star and vlogger Russell Shanko shows us around Beds and Lounge Direct. Mixologist Grant Pickup shows us how to make an apricot bellini in association with Cocktail Collective. And finally, real housewife of Auckland, Anne Batley Burton, shares another champagne etiquette tip. When it comes to finding the perfect skincare routine, we are often overwhelmed by choices. So here to make things simple is gorgeous Deanna Collins from Skin by Nature. Welcome to the studio. Thank you, Monique. It's very nice so to be excited, here. So excited, so excited to have you here. Now, first of all, you brand yourself as modern minimalist skincare. Yes. Tell me about your products. All right, so uh, Skin by Nature um, is modern minimalist skincare, basically. So um, the value and the belief behind it is less is more. Um, most of the products, all of the products, they have less than seven ingredients in them, all that you can pronounce, and most of you will know what they are, which I think is important when it comes to health, when it comes to your skin, knowing what you're actually applying to your skin. I think it's so important as well. There's so many numbers in a lot of the products that are out there on the market. And I know for a fact, having sensitive skin, that right. those numbers really irritate my skin. So how did you get started creating your own skincare range? So it's been a baby in the making for a long time. Um, and I started kind of in the corner of my kitchen. Um, basically what drove me to create a skincare range was that I wanted to know what I'm putting on my skin. I was also pregnant at the time, so obviously um, I wanted to use skincare on my newborn baby. And one thing that I was against was buying store bought products, soaps, uh, baby powders, anything. I wanted to know exactly what I'm going to be putting on my son's skin. Mm, so there's a real health and well-being kind of angle yes. to your products. Yes. Now, I know for a fact that you actually also have a, a, a professional background in health as well. Tell me about that. Yes, so um, I've been working in mental health as a mental health nurse for the last 10 years. Mm. Um, so I did graduate a Bachelor of Health Science majoring in nursing. Wow, so would you say some of the elements of that have crossed over into creating skincare because you know we're talking about self worth, self love, you know, honouring yourself yeah. and your skin. Do you think those values come through into your products as well? Look, absolutely. Um, I think as a person, as a human, everything is connected. Our health, uh, um, our physical health, our mental health, um, our environment, everything is connected. Tell me, what inspired you to create this brand? Uh, what inspired me was my son. I was pregnant at the time, so I just wanted to really know what I'm going to be putting on his delicate, sensitive baby skin. Mm, and which product did you actually start with? Shea butter, that was my very first product. Now shea butter, there's a lot of products out there that yes. talk about shea butter, but my understanding, especially reading your reviews online, is that your products are a little bit different and people it are is. getting great results so tell me about that so shea butter is an emollient it's a very very moisturizing ingredient and it's actually in majority of our moisturizers in our body butters that we use however a very small percentage because when you formulate skincare by the time that you've completed the water phase which is heated you've uh, heated the oil phase and by the time that you've mixed everything and everything's incorporated, there's only a very, very small fraction of the shea butter in there that's probably not actually going to be doing anything to your skin. With my mm. shea butter, it is 100% pure, organic, unrefined shea butter. 
Wow, and my understanding too that Shea Butter is a very good multi-purpose product, is that right? 100%. So I always say that if I was going traveling, that would be the number one jar skincare product that I would put in my bag. Why? Because it's just a multitasking, multi-purpose product. You can use as a body butter, as a face moisturizer, as lip balm. I use it under my eyes. Oh, I want that. Yes. <laughs> as a hand cream, um, you can use it on burns, scrapes, irritated skin, just about anything that you can think of. And okay for children and sensitive 100%. skin hundred well. percent. You could actually eat it. I wouldn't advise it. <laughs> because it would just taste like wow. fat, but yes. I had no idea. Now the other product, um, before we finish up today, that I wanted to ask you about is one I've never heard of before, Baguchi oil, is that right? Baguchi oil, yes. So that is basically an anti-aging product. Um, it's a pure organic oil, um, and it is a vitamin A retinol alternative. Now a lot of people with sensitive skin they can't use a vitamin A cream. Now vitamin A cream, it resurfaces your skin, it's what gives your skin a nice smooth texture, but people with sensitive skin can't use it because it's just too irritating for them. So that's where the Baguchi oil comes in. It's non-irritating, it's soothing, it's hydrating, it's nourishing, so perfect alternative. I'm sold, I want it. Uh, sign me up, it's <laughs> anti-aging, it's on my list. Now final question, you are an entrepreneur. You have trod the, the hard yards like all of us entrepreneurs have. If you could share some sort of piece of advice for other entrepreneurs who are thinking of heading down that pathway, what do you sure. think that would be? Um, there'll be a lot of rocks on the road, but I would just say keep going. If you're truly passionate about something and if you believe in something, keep going. Um, resilience is built doing hard things, overcoming hard obstacles, which we always face during life and especially when you're an entrepreneur starting out like I once did. However, keep going because you build that resilience over time and you develop grit. So the next time that something difficult comes up on your journey, um, you can just fly through it and navigate your way through it. Absolutely brilliant and look at what you've navigated your way through. Congratulations, Sienna. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you want to find out more about these incredible modern minimalist products, I love that. I love alliteration. If you want to find out more, head to Deanna's website. You can find it at skinbynature.co.nz. Deanna, thank you so much thank for you. joining me today. And congratulations on your entrepreneurial success. Thank you so much. Hi guys, Monique here. Today is a really big day. So for those of you who have followed me online, you'll know I've been through a massive weight loss journey. I've lost over 40 kilos in weight. But if you've lost weight as well, you probably know you get left with extra hanging skin and you also get kind of pockets of fat stuck all over your body. And even with diet and exercise, it's really hard to shift them. So I'm here with my chums, the gorgeous TP and Kai. We're here at Kai's, which is an incredible day spa here in Parnell. I am trying out cool shaping. So if you've heard of fat freezing, these ladies are gonna talk me through it. Today is my very first session. Woo! Yay! Oh my God, I'm so excited. And I'm gonna show you guys the results. All right, let's go. Philosophy is it's Kai's is derived from Kaizen, which is mean changing, but not drastically, kind of slowly. Yeah. So it's ideology from the Japanese ideology, and that's what the name is for. <laughs> it's not really my name. <laughs> Lots of people think it's my name, <laughs> but with this cool shape thing, what I actually want to do is to help women like me. I as well have carry a lot of shame 
have four kids and I think that that's it. You, you, you do what you do every single day and you kind of lost yourself. You're just like, oh, is that, is that it? And, and you don't have time to take care of yourself and then you're in a state that you don't really want to be and there is no solution. So here is the solution and we want to, be, we want to make it more accessible for lots of people. So I, I really love fat freezing, as with most women, I think we all have areas of our body that we don't particularly love. Um, I was a massive skeptic when it came to fat freezing because I'd seen it as something I'd always looked into myself. Um, but I have already seen it change a lot of people's way they feel about their body. Okay, so this is so much easier than lipo. So if you've got stubborn pockets of fat around your body, this is a walk in the park, no anesthetic, no surgery, no knives, no, none of those, you've probably watched the videos, you know those sticks that go inside you to suck out all the fat. This is amazing, you just literally lie down. It's a bit tingly, it's really easy. Um, yeah, if you can get it and give it a go, you need to. It, well, you don't need to because you're beautiful just as you are, but this is a walk in the park. If your skin seems a little dull or you're struggling with the signs of aging, it may be time to try Skin Brightening Cream from Kathy Organics. Our naturally rich ingredients, grape seed and kiwi fruit oil, are loaded with the skin nourishing benefits of vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, and essential fatty acids, all designed to support the regeneration of skin cells affected by harmful UV light, aging, or acne. Blended with hydrating cocoa butter, this gentle daily moisturizer may help you achieve the softer, smoother looking skin you deserve. Find out more by heading to the Kathy Organics website, kathyorganics.com, and start your journey to brighter looking skin today. Hi guys, good morning once again, Russell Shago, your blogger here in Auckland, New Zealand. And guess what guys, I'm here right now, here at Beds and Lounge here in Rosedale, Albany, North Shore. Come on guys, I'm gonna give you some good moments right now for our very, very special deal for you. Come on, come with me. Okay guys, so nandito tayo ngayon sa queen size bed, the beds and lounge. So one of the, I think this is one of the finest mattress or mattresses around, you know. Ay, ang sarap ng feeling. So guys, we're here at the, one of their finest mattresses here. Alright, so ito po yung adjustable bed. Look guys, automatic with remote control. Alright guys, gusto nyo magkaroon kayo ng ganitong adjustable bed? Bibili kayo for $12,000? No way man. For $4,000 deal, you can have this one. Beds and lounge only. Oh my gosh, too many mattress protectors! Oh, ang dami dito! So guys, ito, pumunta na kayo dito sa Beds and Lounge here at Rosedale, Albany, North Shore. Guys, you can make a deal. Your best deal, they can give you a cheapest price compared with others. Wala na kayong pupuntahan. Beds and Lounge, again, your vlogger, Russell Shango, here in Auckland, New Zealand. Bye! Welcome to 
today's cocktail demo, I am Monique Bradley. I am the self-appointed glambassador for Cocktail Collective. Yes, I gave myself the title, by the way. Now, the one with the official title is in my kitchen today. This is Grant. He's our expert mix mixologist who's going to take us through another amazing cocktail. What have we got today? Well, hello. We've got a uh, apricot bellini. Oh, I love apricot. Oh, all I can think of is like an apricot cobbler or some yummy dessert. Have we got a bit of sweetness going on here today? Sweet and sour and some some bubbles coming from some nice Prosecco. This Ooh. is uh, Cocktail Ooh. Collective's new one. Oh, yeah, um, exciting. So in here we've got uh, a bottle of vodka. I like it. I like it a it's lot. It's going to bring us some, a little bit of an alcoholic kick. I'm a fan. Um, sweetness and the apricot flavour obviously comes from the apricot liqueur. I am loving this colour, by the way. It's a very on point for this season, apparently. And then we're going to top <laughs> off at the end with our uh, Prosecco. I just think any drink made with Prosecco mm -hmm. is an absolute winner. Yes, absolute agree. winner. And then inside the box, of course, you've got your measury thingy. What, what is it actually called? Thimble measure. Cool. And what do we need to know about the thimble measure? Large end is two parts. Mm -hmm. Small end is one part. Awesome. Or as I always say, single serve, bigger single serve. Yeah. So yeah. On, our, <laughs> on our recipe card, the recipe is written in parts. Mm -hmm. so. And that's the great thing about the box too, is you get the full recipe card inside there, so there's no problems with making it. We're going to show you how to do it all. We want to show you what's in the bottom as well. This is so cool. It's like going on an adventure with these boxes. It's very exciting. Isn't You've it? got extra bottles of Prosecco in this, so how many will this serve? Each bottle will be enough for two drinks at least. I like uh, that. There's more than enough in here for ten drinks in total. Ooh, very good for a party. And in here we've got New Zealand grown lemons. Yeah, Hawke's Bay lemon juice. Um, like um, bottle for Cocktail Collective down in the Holtz Bay. That's going to bring our sour element that's going to balance out the, the sweetness of the apricot. Ah, that's right, because it's that sweet, sour, Always looking for awesome. that balance. Yep, yeah. great. And what's this? Oh my goodness. Prosecco beers, are you kidding me? This is a little treat that the Cocktail Collective have popped in. It's uh, just a little little extra something for us to, to nibble on when oh, we're having a drink later. Is it, is it weird that it makes me a tiny bit excited just seeing those? <laughs> I love a little treat like that. So that all comes inside your box and enough to make 10, you say? 10 in total, we're gonna make two at a time. Right. Um, just so we get a nice uh, even balance uh, and, and a good rounded flavor. Now what I've got here are the um, the champagne flutes, yep. um, bubbles flutes, um, put these pre-chilling. Okay. So you can do this by popping them into the freezer or just pop a bit of ice in Why do you time. do that? Because we, we're not gonna serve the drink with ice in it. Uh, oh, we're serving gotcha. the drink up or straight up. Yep. Which is, uh, I, always, I always thought it was you did it because it makes the glass go all misty and, and, and kind of well, that sexy helps. looking. Well, that helps. <laughs> but obviously it's a fairly small glass in volume, so we yep. want a cold glass, we're going to make a cold drink, yep. and then we, but we'll get rid of the ice before we serve. So before we jump into it, what's the story behind this one? Because every cocktail, it seems, has a different story. Yeah, and you're going to get a little bit of a, a, a little bit of that on the back of the card. Oh, yeah. um, invented in Harry's Bar in Venice, mm. uh, the original Bellini would have been peach. So original Bellini was uh, based on a peach or a peach, and a peach puree, oh. um, and then more modern versions started to use peach liqueurs, and then this is a variation on that with uh, an apricot. If you used a peach puree though, would it make it kind of gritty when you drink? We don't it? use a lot, just a small amount in the bottom okay. of the glass. It's um, for flavour only. Flavour only. Yeah. Don't get excited. <laughs> Uh, but this is the right. apricot version, so yep. uh, we're gonna we're gonna pop this together. Awesome. So I'm just gonna pop these to one side. Let me pull these over this way, actually. Perfect. And you can see what we're doing in here. So I've got my three-piece shaker. Yep. Three parts: can, strainer, yep. and the cap. Mm -hmm. um, this is the traditional Omaha shaker, which you can buy from Cocktail Collective's Brilliant. website. Excellent. We want about half to two thirds full of ice in here. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Now, when we're shaking, we're bringing a few different things into the into the drink. We're going to add water because these flavors are quite strong. I actually wondered about that because I know some of the ice will melt down. Is it okay to have a little bit of That's water? That's exactly in there? the point. Yeah. yeah. Oh. We're also going to add air. Mm -hmm. And that's going to make the drink fluffy when we add the bubbles. <laughs> um, like me, think of fluffy. <laughs> and then, that's um, great. <laughs> obviously, it's going to make the whole thing cold. Cold, cold. yeah, yeah. So, for two drinks, we're going to use six parts of vodka. So, we want three of our yep. large Not measure. the large ones, brilliant. So, holding it over the tin, making sure that if we spin any, it goes in the right place. We want three that's of those. That's such a good tip, actually, Grant. Because I know a lot of people think, oh, I'll do it over here and then bring it across. No, save your energy. Yep. Booze is no good on shoes. 
<laughs> Bruce is no good on shows. Brilliant. Um, we're That's gonna, a tweetable moment right there. We're now going to put four parts of our lemon juice in. It's often a good mm -hmm. idea to give these a bit of a turn. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure you get all the bits of lemon pulp in there. Beautiful. So that's right, it's that balance of the sweetness and the... Because we don't have any gom syrup or sugar syrup in this one. That's no. all coming from that liqueur, the sweetness. The sweetness is going to be coming solely from the liqueur and whatever residual sugars are left in the Prosecco. Now, Prosecco is traditionally quite dry, yep. so not too much sweetness in there. And this drink is not designed to be a sweet drink. Ah, gotcha. Um, but the sweetness that is there is going to come just enough from here. So two yeah. two parts. The colour's so gorgeous too, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and once it's mixed in, it'll that'll pair back a little once we've mixed it in with, with the lemon juice. Yeah. Brilliant. So just two parts of that, and then we're going to shake. Now, do you want to shake or do you want me to I shake I shall it? give it a go. Okay. Because, you know, it's all about doing things together. And I think, you know, you could do it, if you're doing it at a party you're hosting, you get your guests to do it, right? Absolutely. Keep it interactive. A lot of people make the mistake here of thumping the top of the mm -hmm. shaker. It's going to get stuck if you do that. So just press it on firmly. Yep. We're going to hold it in both hands, one either end. Yep. Nice and high up near the side of your head so everyone can see what you're doing. Yep, perfect. Big smile. <laughs> it's not the most attractive thing, I'm not going to lie. But I'm giving it a go. And you want to make get the ice hitting both ends. Wait, what do you mean? I'm trying. It's doing fine. It's a good um, bicep tricep workout, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> There's no better way to do that. It's not attractive. It's not attractive, but it's about the end product. That's what's most important. Yeah. So when they, the other thing we look at is with a metal shaker, if it gets sort of just on the edge of painful to hold, you're probably yeah. about ready. Okay. okay I got there. Yeah. <laughs> My pain threshold so is very low. If clearly. you wouldn't mind just tipping those, sure, get no rid worries. of the ice. And then what we're going to do here is share this between evenly between the two. Oh, that is pretty, isn't it? Is now, considering the colour of that apricot liqueur, it hasn't come out, it's, it's come out a lot a lot more muted in tone. It's very peachy, very summery, even though it's apricot. It's it's very summery looking. Is this the sort of drink you would serve in summer or all year round? Yeah, Bellinis are pretty popular in summer because they're cold and they're fizzy and, you know, bubbles is a, a summery drink. But yes. they're good, yeah, it's good for celebrations. And Beautiful. Bubbles are always... Uh, Fun for they are bringing a little bit of extra special. I was just fizz wondering, do we, have to, do we have to take all the? Um... No, this is, these little bottles don't have corks. Um, <laughs> no, I was just thinking with all the foil. But, uh, did we have to peel off the foil? No, you, but you, can just opened you can just crack the top off like this, and then all we're going to do is carefully because it, it will fizz up. Just take your time with this bit. It's very pretty, isn't it? It is pretty. Yeah. Even oh. between the two. Always leave a little bit of a window in the top, just so you. And see, spill. look at how we've got that foam on the top. That just looks really beautiful. It's a good-looking drink. Ah, oh. and that's best us. Shared, best shared with friends, obviously. Absolutely, best shared. Well, with we must try it because this is our commitment to our viewers. Cheers. Cheers. Awesome. Oh. That tastes like Christmas, doesn't it? There's a lot of joy. It's a lot of joy. I'm feeling, feeling really good. And you can have a little Prosecco mm. gummy to go with it. Don't mind if I do. Can't I, Cosmic? Oh. Hey, they're good. I like them. It's really good. Mm. Mm. Cheers. Cheers, matey. It's a good day. You guys need to try this. Try it. Let us know your thoughts. If you love this drink as much as we do, let us know. Thank you so much for watching. Grant, a pleasure as always, my Thank friend. you for having me. Cheers. Take care. Mm. Before we move on to actually pouring the champagne, I'd just like to stress something which is terribly important. Make sure the glasses are perfectly polished. The number of times that I go to a restaurant and I have to send the champagne back, you just don't want to know about it. <laughs> the restaurateurs hate it. They see me coming and they run out frantically polishing glasses. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> but the fact is, often I get a glass of champagne and it's flat. And I'll go back and I'll say, excuse me, um, but my champagne is flat. Oh, we opened a new bottle. We knew it was you. No, it's a new fresh bottle. I said, well, in that case, if it's a fresh bottle, that means your glasses haven't been polished properly. And I've even gone to the lengths of going into the ladies' room and washing my glass with very, very hot water and polishing it myself and going back and saying, hey, 
Look at my glass and look at your glass. Look at the difference. Mine is a rush of fabulous effervescence, which is the only way champagne should be. And theirs is flat as a pancake. I mean, let's face it, if I want to Chardonnay, I'd order one. <laughs> and as always, please remember to drink responsibly. Cheers.